Welcome back everybody. Triple J Farms here. Um, today we're going to talk about okay you've joined what are we going to do next? So you want to get some land. Um, you'll go to your account website here. Go down to the legend um, UMRV right here. Click on that. Okay where do I want to start my farm at? Um, you know, maybe uh, up here on the hill. Why not? Um, so maybe 58. Let's go see if that's on the list here. Right there. So I want that piece of ground. Click that right there. Now since I've just joined, I am not allowed to buy any land yet unless you donate. Um, but after five days, then you'll be able to, there'll be a green button here and you can click buy. Um, you can even get a mortgage to buy your land, whatever you want to do. But right now I can't do that. I'm not a donator and I'm just starting so I'm going to lease it. Here's the details. Lease price runs for 12 days, real days, um, and then it expires. After it expires, um, you cannot re-lease it because it'll go to auction for other people to buy. And then after a few days, if nobody buys it, then you can lease it back. But but always remember, you know, once your 12 days are up, you better make sure your harvest is finished and all that. Otherwise, it won't be your land anymore. So just something to make note of. So I'm going to lease this. Register lease title. Okay. So I'm in the farm manager mode. Um... <clears throat> right up here Looks like there's some wheat planted oh I think everything oh yeah everything is is uh, been harvested it's in the harvested state and that's how you'll start out so I don't got much money I think I'm just gonna lease some equipment rent some equipment that's the best way to do this save a little money and then I'll save this for when I can buy land and I can actually have money to purchase it so you want to go to the rental center see what's there that is gonna be right up here I'll just jump in something here. All right, everything here is for rent. Um, there's a sign right here that tells you that this is the rental center. So right here, um, what do I want to do? It's November, so can't really do much except. If I could, I could plow real quick and then plant some wheat, but um, I'll just get everything plowed and then I can maybe plant some a spring crop. So, big blue, maybe I'll take take you. So, I want to rent this. What do I do? Go to the website, rental center. Where's that at? Rentals right here. Rental Center, make sure you pick the right server, which is UMRB. Find it on here. Right here. Rent it. Rent for one day. Okay, once you hit that, um, then you're free to drive it off and use it. Uh, and then it'll, it'll say one because you have one rented out. If you want everyone to go to your rentals and see what you got, it's right there. You get it for one day, uh, so that means it needs to be returned by the end of the next business day so tomorrow I'd have till basically midnight Eastern Standard Time to have it back here uh, start this up I guess I need a plow too so we'll jump in here back to the rental center UMRV where's the plows at There's one of them, right? Yep. Rent. Rent for one day. Okay, there's my two pieces of rental equipment. So now you're just free to, and since we're all in the farm manager account, you have access to all this right away. You don't have to get permissions because, like I said, we're all in one account. Look up to that baby. Head up to field 58. Get her plowed. Okay, so you've done all that. You've gone up there, plowed your field, <clears throat> and then you want to return it. So 
you come on back, you might have a little dirt on this puppy. You might have used a little fuel. So, uh, one of the rules is when you bring it back, you've got to refuel. You've got to come over here and repair everything. And there's also a power washer over here. So you'll repair, clean everything up, and then you'll return it right back where it was. Um, now we'll monitor this thing, so if we know you rented something, you bring it back, you don't fuel it and all that stuff, um, we're going to tell you about it, and at some point you might lose your, your renting privileges if that doesn't uh, get any better. So, And for the next player who might want to rent something, we want stuff to be all cleaned up for them, ready to go. Um, and always remember when you get everything returned, parked back where it was. I know in my experience I've forgotten at times to actually go on the website and return it. So uh, this might be a little bit tight to get this puppy in here. Let's see what I can do. Oh yeah, put her in there. <clears throat> and we've got bigger plows, smaller plows. Obviously a lot cheaper if you want to take a smaller plow. So, however you want to do it, get in there, get in there. That should work pretty much. Go up a little bit. And hook her. Put her back in the shed. But, that's how you use the rental center. Really easy. Um, let's try to keep everything neat and nice around here for the next guy. Okay, so I've returned it. You go back to website, rentals, my rentals. Um, it has a number of hours on the equipment. It doesn't really matter. Let's return that. Uh, now on the tractors and stuff, we want you to try to keep track now. At, oh, 0, 0.0, so there isn't any. Now, if you don't know what they are, you know, it's not a big deal. Just leave it at zero, return it. It doesn't really matter a whole lot what the hours are. Um, but it's just a nice little feature we, we want to keep track of. So, and that's it. That's how you use the rental center. That's how you lease land. That's kind of how you're, you'll start out. Um, if you don't want to lease and you want to buy equipment, well, then you just go to equipment, purchase on this server. Um, you want to buy your own large tractor, you'll just find it in here. Uh, all these prices are going to be what you pay. You know, don't worry about the end game prices because that don't mean a thing. Um, the price of the equipment is going to be listed right here. Click on that. Hit purchase. See, obviously I don't have enough money to buy this, so it won't even let you. Um, now, if you're, you're a donator, some of the stuff will be discounted a little bit depending on how much you donate. So keep that in mind. Um, but it's pretty cool how that works. So anyway, that'll be enough for now covers the leasing of equipment, leasing of land, and then you're off just farming away. Catch you later, guys.